Hey y'all, uh, Roman Black Folks Talk. This is extremely warm. Late summer morning in September. September is the hottest month of the year in San Francisco. And it's living, definitely living up to its billing today. Um, it is hot out here. And I got up early today so I could get my walk done. I want to be coming back by the afternoon as opposed to coming to by the afternoon. And at every time of day, you meet different kinds of people. You meet different people on different journeys in life because the nine to five round doesn't let you do this. Now there's any another reasons why someone may be in the park at 10 something, but it tells you that they're not on the nine to five detail at the moment. You still have to vet everybody. But the point being that I'm making this point is that if you want a different kind of experience, you know what you have to do? You have to actually go do different kinds of things. I was talking to a sister who was talking about how the behavior of certain black men in her neighborhood is making it scary for her to go and do something she enjoys, but she knows there's a location further away that would also allow her to do that. And she's like, I kind of feel like I want to stay home. I'm like, nope. Go to a different location. Because see, here's the thing, and it does not matter what group people we're talking about, that just comes to mind. People study us and they understand our projected comfort zones. And as long as we stay in them, we're accessible to them. Easily. Because we're inside their comfort zone. I have a situation going on elsewhere <laughs> with di people of largely a different complexion where they're big, powerful, high and mighty. And the algorithm that runs what they're doing is, well, I should say I had. Because I get nervous when people build algorithms and don't know what day it is and how many days there are on the week. Countdown counters running seven days on one place. Countdown counters running five days on another. And I'm like, there's five days in a week? If you don't know, I can't help you. Got to go. Got to go. But different people on different journeys doing different things. You still have to vet folks. But see, here's the thing. People who felt like this was going to be how they get their life were not going to be asking questions. It is dangerous to be so comfortable, to be so dependent, that you don't feel like you need to ask questions. Or you don't feel that you can afford to ask questions. So, you really do have to consider if you really want different things in your life, you got to find ways to do different things. I know we all have jobs, responsibilities, etc., etc., etc. Come out out of your comfort zone and do something different this week. Do something different this week or this weekend. Uh, go do something different. I have a whole list of things I'm going to do when COVID finally begins to kind of calm down and work its way out. Um, and I'm just being patient because I have to stay, keep in mind all the seniors that I work with. I can't risk them on some foolishness. I'm also waiting on the fall uh, COVID vaccine for the new variants and so forth to uh, come on through here. And I did this video already. I don't have a problem with anybody being vaccinated or unvaccinated. That's a personal decision. But um, I'm going to continue to expand my horizons. Now, walking it, you know, getting out on my walk before 10 o'clock, it's just a necessity because of the weather. The weather here is hot and ridiculous. Um, just for San Francisco, we have no air conditioning. So it is truly ridiculous when it gets hot here. But you make work, you go do with it. I'm in the park, beautiful morning, seeing who there is to see. So I'm head out and uh, I'm trying to decide. It's a little bit of a breeze. I may push on to Lake Alvin. If I do, I might do a sharp video up there. But Lake Alvin has a fountain. And I don't know if it would come in clearly up there. So we'll find out if I get there. Anyway, y'all, have a good day now. And uh, try something different this week. Avoid arguments. There's a big situation going on right now that's going to engender a lot of arguments. All this stuff about Black Lives Matter. You know, three women, $90 million, but it's a black man caught up on charges. It's a long story. There will be many arguments. Enjoy your life and stay out of them.
You don't need that energy on these last beautiful days of the summer. All right. Hope you all doing well. Talk to you soon. Thank you for listening. Bye.